Okay, so this is an example that's just like um, number one that's going to be on the recall test for cycle E. I'm sorry that I didn't, I forgot to show you guys how to do this in class. Um, all right, so you're given this table of values. Uh, these are the inputs to a negative one. Here are the outputs for H, H prime, R, and R prime. So for example, if you wanted R of negative one, you'd, you know, here's negative one, you'd go to, over to the R column. So R of negative one is three. Okay, so you look at this, and guys, I really, um, at some point we're gonna, you know, we'll, we'll take some time to like, just practice the stuff that we've learned before the second half of the year, we'll review the whole first half, which, and the whole first half is just limits and derivatives. Um, so, uh, yeah, so at a certain point, you know, when we're, when we're reviewing everything, I want to make this real clear. Okay, when you're looking at, um, okay, so, I guess that's power. Um, chain. Okay, so you really have to be asking yourself, am I dealing with something that looks like AX to the N, in which case it would be a simple power rule? Am I dealing with a product of two functions? Or am I dealing with a quotient of two functions? So far, looking at this g, so this is g of x. g of x is h of r of x, and we want to find g prime of 2. It is not of that form, so we're not going to use power rule. This is not a product of two functions. Neither is it a quotient of two functions. This is going to require chain rule because we have a function that is inside of another. This r of x, that is a function, and it is inside of h of blank, okay? So, um, so yeah, the input of h is itself another function r. So, since there's an inside and an outside function, this is chain rule. So, inside, outside. The inside is r of x. The outside is h of blank. What is the derivative of r of x? r prime of x. What is the derivative of h of blank? h prime of blank. What goes in this blank is what was in that blank, which is r of x. Okay, so this is g prime of x. They want g prime of 2. So g prime of 2, you're just putting a 2 like that, okay? r prime of 2. Now we're going to look at the table. So r prime of 2, there's r prime of 2 is 7 times h prime of, I've got to find r of 2. So r, here's the r outputs of 2 is negative 1, all right? So 7 times h prime of negative 1, so I'm looking at h prime of negative 1 is negative 2. So that is negative 14. Okay, so all of the problems, all the practice problems for the for number one for the recall test are just like that.